This trial is really important because diabetes and diabetic kidney disease are 21st century epidemics. There are more than 400 million people with diabetes around the world at the moment, and 40% of these people um, will get kidney disease. Once they've got kidney disease, they're at very high risk of kidney failure, of heart attack, of stroke, of heart failure, and of death. People with diabetes who develop kidney disease have, at the moment, few treatments proven to be beneficial. In terms of preventing kidney failure, only one class of blood pressure lowering agents has been proven to be beneficial, and that was um, confirmed some 18 years ago. In the time in between, we've had no new treatments for this vastly important problem. So with this trial, we took a drug that's available today for lowering blood sugar levels in people with diabetes, but which we thought may well have additional special beneficial effects for the kidney. And we gave it to people with diabetes who already had evidence of kidney damage, mostly through the presence of protein in the urine. We took 4,401 of these people from over 30 countries around the world, and we gave half of them this drug, cangliflozin, and the other half an identical placebo. And we followed these people for an average of two and a half years to see what happened to them. We found a very dramatic result. We found that people who received this treatment had a 30% lower risk of kidney failure and related events. They also had a lower risk of cardiovascular events like heart attack, stroke or death um, from cardiovascular causes and a dramatically lower risk of heart failure. All really big problems in people with diabetes and kidney disease. These results offer to transform the lives of people with diabetes and kidney disease. They can help keep them off dialysis, avoid developing heart failure or heart attacks or strokes, and potentially help them to live longer and healthier lives. So we think these results will make a major difference to people with diabetes all around the world. I see so many patients who have had diabetes for some years and who start to develop signs of kidney failure. Until now, we've, for many of these people, had to just watch them as they progressively developed kidney failure. They suffered from the cardiovascular complications, things like heart attack and stroke, and ended up, in many cases, needing dialysis treatment just to keep them alive. With this treatment, for many of those people now, we can offer them real hope and a better future.